Hello everyone, welcome to the crash scene, on this one recap, I'm gonna review a movie, called Usogui, aka The Liar Eater, without further ado let's get to the storyline. This story begins with a conflict three years ago, when Baku Madarami, a high-class gambler who is very genius, challenged the leader of the Kaakiru Club, Soichi Kiruma. Kaakiru Club itself is the largest gambling organization in Japan. And the power of the Kaakiru Club leader can rival even the Japanese government. Baku's goal is to challenge the club leader, with his own life, to replace Soichi's position, as club leader. Gambling is overseen by two referees, namely Mitushi Nawa, and, Hiyakoichi Yako. In this game, Baku challenges Soichi, with a simple game. Baku predicts, that within one hour, there will be a plane, passing above them. Because he has power, Soichi's people, immediately cancel all flights, through the city of Tokyo. Baku knew, of Soichi's tactics, from the start, and had chartered a plane, to defeat Soichi this time. It turns out, Soichi was the one, who managed to thwart Baku's plan. And finally Baku lost in gambling. Soichi keeps Baku alive, and chooses, to exile Baku and revoke, his Kaakiru club membership. Three years later, Baku lives in a remote village, called Mikurajima. Baku is joined, by a petty gambler, who is placing his bets. Baku immediately bet, 1 million yen, and said, he would eat the gambler's lies. In the first round, Baku immediately beat the gambler, and dismantling the gambler's tactic, of placing a magnet in the dice, and an iron plate, under the cloth. Cause Baku also did the same thing. He had kept a magnet, in his pile of money. Furthermore, Baku is informed by his partner, that in Tokyo there is someone who wants to defeat, the leader of the Kaakiru club, just like Baku. That person named, Iki Sadakuni, a Japanese scientist. He is known to, want to target the Kaakiru club, and even want to become the club leader. Baku finally chose to return to Tokyo, and complete his mission. The film continues as finance minister, Masahiru Onodera, fights, Iki Sadakuni. The gambling was supervised directly, by the club's 10th referee Keikiru, Kiru Mekama. Onodera has the intention to take advantage of Sadakuni's research, to win in the election later. So you Sadakuni defeats Onodera, winning six rounds in a row. Onodera who did not want to lose, ordered his guards to finish off Makama. And please note, that the club referee Keikiru has expertise in fighting, to pay off the debts, of a losing gambler.
The scene continues. Baku, who finally breathes the air of Tokyo again, meets Takaomi Kaji. Kaji, is a good boy who has to pay off a debt, because his friend framed him. Baku helps Kaji, who is caught by lone sharks. And takes him to an illegal casino owned by a woman, named, Renko Okurama. There, Baku played with all the money he had. Winning number. To play, they have to put coins on the numbers on the board. If the ball stops at the number they choose, then they win the bet. Baku, selects all numbers, except those that have already been selected. Kaji thought, it was a very stupid move. Having won so many times, Baku raised the stakes. Unfortunately, this time he failed. Kaji is very frustrated about it. Baku also started from the beginning again. And bet, on all numbers except, the red 9. Baku started eating his pickle food. Kaji immediately put all the coins, on the red number 9. Baku had planned it from the start. So that Kaji would put all the coins, on the numbers he didn't choose, when Baku started eating, his pickle food. The game has been manipulated by the dealer, and will direct the ball to whatever number he wants. Baku ended up winning 5 million yen. The money is given to Kaji, so he can pay off the debt. Kaji also enjoys the money but feels that life is very boring, and thinks about continuing to accompany Baku. At the casino, Baku challenged Sadakuni, to make a bet with him. Sadakuni know, that Baku was not a member of Keikuro's club. And finally, rejected Baku's offer. Baku calls Ranko to meet. Ranko didn't expect, that Baku ask for her Kakuru membership, and refused to give it. Ranko tells Baku how to get it back. Baku meets Kaji, and allows Kaji to come with him. They met Taro Kokoni in a park. Taro invites him to gamble, and will give a big prize. Arriving at Taro's place, Baku immediately, put forward the condition, that Taro must provide his Kaakero membership, for the bet. Taro agreed. The betting begins, Baku slips a pen, in Hikoichi's pocket. The pen would give him information, from inside that tent. In this bet, Baku and Kaji, have to catch the pet to get the key. Long story short, they managed to get the key, and release the tool at Kaji's feet. Taro was furious, and angry about it and woke up, his special pet, Rotom. Baku overhears, Taro's conversation. 
where Rotom is only active for 15 minutes. Baku finally managed to beat Rotom. Hikoichi congratulates Kaji, on becoming a member of Kaakero. Baku can't become a member, because leader Kakuro punishes Baku with it. The scene continued during Sadakuni's research, at that time, he had a breakthrough, mining methane hydrate, as a substitute for oil. He invested all his personal funds, in research, without involving the government. But one day, there was an explosion, and killed his teammate. Finally Sadakuni disappeared, from public attention. Sadakuni was instigated, to be able to restore his power, by becoming a member of Kaakero, so he could, fight against the Kaakero leader. Long story short, Baku was finally able, to challenge Sadakuni. Kaji, accidentally breaks one of the CCTV cameras. In this bet, all investors and conglomerates, attend and bet 2 billion yen. and determine hangman, as the penalty for loser. Those who lose this bet, will be executed together, with their partners. Gambling begins. They will play the old maid game. The player who gets the old maid card with 11 points will be declared a loser. In the first round, Sadakuni beat Baku, who got old maid 5. In the next round, Baku lost again, by pulling the old maid card, 4. He has collected, 9 of 11 parts, of the gallows. Again, in the third round, Baku got, 1 old maid. and the accumulated value was, already 10. In the following round, Baku was finally able to manipulate the game, which made Sadakuni, start pulling, old maid cards. In the final round, Baku looked at Sadakuni's card, and drew an old maid card, on his own, to trick Sadakuni. The rules of the game allow, for dirty tactics, but not to be known, by the opponent. Sadakuni, who only relied on the camera, couldn't see it, because one of the cameras was damaged, by Kaji. Baku finally wins at the last moment. 
knowing that Sadakuni has been looking at his cards all along through the cameras. Sadakuni defeated and gave his membership status to Baku. At the last moment, Baku showed Sadakuni's old photo. Sadakuni smiled seeing it. Baku is finally able to challenge back Soichi as Kaakero's leader. They are greeted by Hikoichi, and only Baku are allowed in to gamble. That's the storyline of the Usufi movie. As usual, those of you who have watched it to the end, I hope this film recap can entertain and fill your free time. Don't forget to leave comments or share your opinion for this one film plot in the comments column. That's all from me see you on another video.